Bass. How low can you go? If anybody can guess what hip hop group said that in a song, you're old as me, and you get two gold stars. I swear my house is leaning. Run with it. What's up everybody, it's PJ the Great. I hope you're having a super beautiful day. And if you're new here, I do videos just like this as well as PC builds and gaming streams. So if that sounds like your jam, consider subscribing. And to all my returning subscribers, what's up great ones, welcome back. All right, today I have a sound bar that I want to review. It is by Majority and this is their Bowfell series. It's a compact Bluetooth sound bar that I picked up on Amazon.com. I think I paid roughly $34, $35 for it, which is a steal. And I wanted to share it with you because I think for the price, you get a lot of bang and bass for your buck. Also for that small little price tag, you get a three year warranty. So if anything goes wrong with this thing within three years of the date of purchase, you can send it back in and get a brand new one or get it repaired. I don't know all the details, but when I see three year warranty on something that's only $34, that's a deal in itself. There's a whole bunch of ways that you can hook this thing up to whatever it is that you want to hook it up to. They have um, like generic RCA, cables so you can hook it up that way you can do it by 3.5 millimeter jack auxiliary you can hook it up that way and then as mentioned you can hook it up via bluetooth so no matter which way you want to hook it up you cut word and I also forgot to mention that you can also hook it up by what is it i think it's that um audio optical yeah that's what it's called you can hook it up that way and you don't have to worry about picking up any additional cables because they all come in the box Here's that RCA right here, comes in the box. Here's that audio optical, comes in the box. And the 3.5 millimeter, that one's in use right now. That's the reason why I can't show you. So everything you need is right in the box and you're all set and ready to go. Now you're gonna need some wall power to power this thing up. This is not something you could take on the road with you and put some batteries in it or even charge it up. This is all powered by plugging it into your wall. And you really can't argue about that because of the affordability of this. I mean, $34, you can't beat it and what do you expect? But let's go over some of the specs with you so you know what you're getting into if you want to pick up one of these and i'll leave a link down in the description box down below if you're interested in picking it up from amazon.com and it is a non-affiliate link um, i'm going to try to get back in that program soon but i'm going to wait until you know i can re-enter it without getting kicked out again <laughs> i didn't do anything wrong it's just no one was using it so Read along with me. On the box right here it says built-in saltwoofer, better bass response for a more immersive audio experience. So built-in saltwoofer, that's great. Bluetooth, easily connect and play from your Bluetooth compatible device. You got USB and aux playback. Listen to your own media from your device with the plug and play auxiliary and USB ports. And remote control for convenient control over your audio playback settings. So, this thing comes chock with a lot of features. Let me show you that remote control for a minute. Here's a remote control that it comes with right here. Um, it's pretty decent. It's got a lot of good controls on here. You got your um, pair, your mode, your flat rock and jazz volume up and down. You can change your songs and play and pause if you're using the USB feature, your power button and your mute button. Be aware that this is very light and flimsy. Um, yeah, $34. I dropped this thing on the way to do this video and like the bat flew off and the batteries flew out. So this is not a high quality remote control. Treat it with kids gloves. Here is the unit itself. Uh, it is a pretty decent size. So this will work well if you want to use this for your computer, for computer speakers. And you can also use this, say like if you have a 
bedroom TV that you wanna add some enriched sound from because let's just face it, TVs nowadays, the built-in audio is basically crap. So this is not gonna take up a whole lot of space, especially if you got like a mid-range size TV in your bedroom, say something like a 24 inch going all the way up to maybe like a 43 inch. This would pair nicely and not take up a lot of space. Here are those um, ports that I talked about. We got the optical in, USB, and then your power right there. Hopefully you can see that there. And then on the side, you do have manual controls if you don't wanna bother with the remote control or you accidentally drop it and break it. You have your power mode, your volume up and down, and then your little auxiliary right there if you wanna use the 3.5 millimeter jack that it comes with. And the unit itself, has got some weight to it. It's um, pretty decent. It doesn't feel flimsy at all. Not like that remote control. So it is a little sturdy and it feels like it's of good quality. But the main question is, how does it sound? Well, take a trip with me over to where I have this thing set up and we'll do a little sound test. All right, so this is my little setup. This is the reason why I bought it. Here, let me do a little can 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 My angle, oops, wrong one. Camera angle adjustment so you can see that the sound bar is actually hooked up. There we go. All right, let's do some audio testing so you guys and gals can get a general idea of how this thing sounds for the money. Oh, look, it's everyone's favorite YouTube channel, PJ the Great. <laughs> Let's check out the sound. Because this thing only has two dim slots, whereas the Gigabyte has four. But I thought this would be good enough for my living room media PC. Slash Got some punchy bass in it. Slash sleeper build. So Let's try the different that, sound. Can't beat it, and it actually is as Hopefully you can see that. My lighting is a little bad in the bedroom. 3000 desktop ready. So Rock. that is a cool thing. Plus before she has no clock on this. News flash, flat. there would be no overclocking. I like to use it that flat. The airflow in this case is really not that good. And Here's some music from my past stream. So you can hear how good music sounds in it. Shameless plug on um, streaming gaming on my YouTube channel now. <laughs> I'll shut up so you can hear the music. This is flat. That's rock. That's jazz. There's a little audio from the stream. So you can hear how that sounds. Turn it up a little bit. Are you a material girl? <laughs> See, it gets pretty loud. All right, got some grub. Back on the street. You know the music test? <laughs> That's my favorite. So hopefully that audio test um, came through good. One little flaw I will say about this little sound bar is that sometimes like I notice when I'm watching it and for some reason, it'll start stuttering and skipping for like a couple of seconds and then it'll jump back in. I don't know if it's just my unit or these units in general, so just be aware of that. And um, another reason why I picked this up, I had an old 720p TV like 
over 11 years old that I was using in my bedroom and I had to spare my old 1440p monitor just sitting up in the garage collecting dust. I was gonna sell it, but then I decided, get a sound bar, turn it into your TV. <laughs> All right, so let's wrap this little video up. The majority, both fail, sound bar, $34, amazon.com. Do I recommend it? For the price, absolutely. You can't beat it for the price, I think. You know that saying, you get what you pay for? Well, you're definitely getting what you pay for for a $34 sound bar, but in this case scenario, it's not a bad thing at all. I think this is really good quality for the price, and I don't think you can go wrong with it. Say you just want it, like I said, for your bedroom, or you want to use it as computer audio, and you're really not like a huge audiophile, you just want something that sounds good and decent and better than the onboard speakers, say like on your computer or on your TV. This would get the job done at a fraction of the cost. Once again, a link down in the description down below if you wanna check that out. And hey, if you like this video, do me a favor and give it a big old thumbs up. But if you hated it, you can also give it a thumbs down. Well, not also, do one or the other, don't do both. Well, if you're gonna do both, do the thumbs down first, then do the thumbs up for obvious reasons. <laughs> but no matter what you do, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. And thank you so much again for watching. I really, I really like this. Decent price. For what I'm using it for, good enough. Until I see you in the next video, this is PJ the Great saying Audi. 5000G. I'm not complaining about this little thing at all. That's not my Pinocchio nose. That's just like another <laughs> angle. It's good for the price. Consider it. Not sponsored by them either. <laughs>